Hello and welcome to Shapiro Industries. Today we're going to be making crop brass knuckles. Before we get into the build, I'm going to need you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Come on, it doesn't affect you in any way, but it helps me out a lot, so please subscribe to the channel. Also, fair warning, brass knuckles, I believe, are illegal, so build these with caution. They are made out of foam, so they're not going to hurt anyone, but just know that. So, we are just going to start off with a scrap piece of foam, and we're going to put our template on it, and then we're going to trace over the template with a pencil or a pen, whatever that you have and you choose. Uh, this is a template I just kind of made up based off of looking at pictures, so pretty much anybody could come up with a template. And now once we have it sketched onto our piece of foam, we need to figure out where to cut our holes. So we have, it needs four holes for four fingers. I'm using this copper pipe, which I sharpened one of the ends with, with this file. I used a round file, potentially you could use a flat file, and that'll give it an edge to where you can actually cut through the foam. Now this foam is fairly thick so you might have to wiggle it a little bit and twist it to really have a nice clean cut all the way through, but once you do it is fairly easy to just repeat the process. And as you can see it pops out the other side and then now we have a nice hole for our finger for the brass knuckles. And you just have to repeat this a couple more times. Now once you have all your holes cut we're going to cut the brass knuckle out of the piece of foam. So you're just going to want to cut around it the best you can, making long, shallow cuts if you can, and make sure to always keep sharpening your blade. It'll provide a better end result. And you could, like, try to cut it out all at once, but I just did it in, like, sections where I would cut out a wedge of foam and just kept doing that. So that's how I did it by all means you could try to make it one consecutive piece it's just gonna be a little bit more difficult now you can also sand this if you want it to be smooth but I was going for kind of a more like flat edged look so I didn't sand it down for it to be round but you totally can and I did leave the texture on one side So once we cut these out, we're going to hit them with some primer. Now since I'm not like heat sealing these or spraying them with Plasti Dip, primer is just going to be the best thing. And then we're going to hit them with some gold spray paint. But I didn't think that this spray paint was gold enough because brass knuckles are pretty bright. So after hitting them with two coats of this gold spray paint, I ended up hand painting them with my gold metallic paint that I have. You've seen it in other videos. So this is the final product painted on both sides. And as you can see, it looks pretty realistic. And they fit on pretty well. And I don't recommend punching anyone with this. And that's it for the build. As you can see, these brass knuckles are pretty cool. Now, there's a bunch of different ways that you can customize them yourself and make them your own. Uh, you could easily like sand down the outside if you wanted to. I didn't want to. You could also remove the texture on the back but I figured I might as well just leave it and you know the holes for your fingers are adjustable for pretty much anyone you just need to sand them down or use a bigger pipe to cut it out now fair warning uh, when you build these maybe cut the holes a little bit bigger than you think because these fit me before I painted them and like heated them but now they don't fit me as well so just know that so that is it for today's build. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, check out my other channel, David Shapiro, where I do cool and fun fitness content. Uh, link it up right there. Just click on it. And yeah, so subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.